United Nations just issued sick ultimatum to whites in America after weeks of racist NFL protests. Over the past several weeks, the NFL protests has been all the mainstream media has talked about, as oppressed black millionaires keep trying to demonize our country while complaining about the oppression they're forced to endure as blacks living in this country. After weeks of NFL protests, now the United Nations is interjecting themselves back into our politics yet again, making a sickening demand of all white people who live in the United States. While Obama was in office, he allowed the United Nations to start establishing a presence within American cities with a global police force, sneaking his plot to give America sovereignty away under the guise of an organization called the Strong Cities Network. This unconstitutional move was largely criticized by patriotic groups, as the Constitution requires a treaty before allowing any foreign military presence to base itself on American soil. The Strong Cities Network, SCN, was launched by the United Nations back in September 2015, providing the first ever global network of mayors and municipal level policymakers with the stated goal of providing a community to counter violent extremism in all its forms. Along with the United Nations' responsibility to protect doctrine, an enabling principle that allows an international community to intervene when they discover crimes being committed against humanity, the UN can take it upon themselves to safeguard any citizen who they view as being racially discriminated against. To put it in more simple terms, the UN can invade a country with their UN police force if they determine that crimes against humanity have occurred. Now in an unbelievable power move, United Nations human rights commissioners have ruled they've found alarming racism trends in our country and are threatening to intervene unless white Americans meet their demands and start paying blacks. Reparations for Slavery The Washington Post reports, the history of slavery in the United States justifies reparations for African Americans, argues a recent report by a U.N. affiliated group based in Geneva. This conclusion was part of a study by the United Nations Working Group of Experts on People of African Descent, a body that reports to the International Organization's High Commissioner on Human Rights. The group of experts, which includes leading human rights lawyers from around the world, presented its findings to the United Nations Human Rights Council on Monday, pointing to the continuing link between present injustices and the dark chapters of American history. In particular, the legacy of colonial history, enslavement, racial subordination, and segregation, racial terrorism and racial inequality in the United States remains a serious challenge, as there has been no real commitment to reparations and to truth and reconciliation for people of African descent, the report stated. Contemporary police killings and the trauma that they create are reminiscent of the past racial terror of lynching. Citing the past year's spate of police officers killing unarmed African-American men, the panel warned against impunity for state violence, which has created, in its words, a human rights crisis that must be addressed as a matter of urgency. Despite substantial changes since the end of the enforcement of Jim Crow and the fight for civil rights, ideology ensuring the domination of one group over another, continues to negatively impact the civil, political, economic, social, and cultural rights of African Americans today, it said in a statement. The dangerous ideology of white supremacy inhibits social cohesion amongst the U.S. population. The United Nations now appears to be taking up the cause of these NFL protesting athletes while making the ridiculous claim that there's currently a human rights crisis that must be addressed with a matter of urgency. Addressed how exactly? If the UN determines that crimes against humanity has occurred, how exactly do they plan to respond? That remains to be seen. But unfortunately, this isn't the first time in recent months the United Nations has attempted to pull a power move in our country. After the Charlottesville incident, Anastasia Crickley, chairwoman of UN Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, CERD, issued a warning to America on August 12 saying, we are alarmed by the racist demonstrations, with overtly racist slogans, chants and salutes by white nationalists, neo-Nazis, and the Ku Klux Klan, promoting white supremacy and inciting racial discrimination and hatred, Crickley said. This is an extremely serious power play move on behalf of the Sharia law supporting United Nations, as this warning has only been issued in a handful of countries in the past 10 years, 
where the UN warned third world countries such as Burundi, Iraq, Ivory Coast, Kyrgyzstan, and Nigeria of their actions against humanity. Crickley is now getting the UN to undertake concrete measures against the United States. This is not only a power move, but a huge insult for a corrupt organization such as the United Nations to start attacking our country and publicly calling us out. America has done more than any other country on earth to weed out racism and fight for the human rights of others. Keep in mind the UN is perfectly fine with Christians being massacred by ISIS, Muslims having sex slaves, white genocide in Africa, and the horrifying treatment of women Middle Eastern countries. The notion that white people alive today should be forced to pay reparations for slavery that happened 200 years ago is beyond insane. Even if whites were to pay reparations for slavery that happened 200 years ago, how it fair to demonize the entire white race when only 6% of Southerners even owned slaves? If the United Nations truly cared about the cause of blacks, they d be raising hell over the black-on-black -black crime statistics in this country where the FBI revealed recently that 90% of blacks murdered were done so at the hands of other blacks. But as soon as there's several incidents of our police shooting armed thugs in our country now there's suddenly a human rights crisis that the United Nations feels that white America must atone for? Give me a freaking break. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us, and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it, and follow up, and thank you for watching.